Rebound, rebound. Bounce. One of the wear and tear items on the rebounder is the mat, and usually your problem area is underneath the yellow rim where the stitching is. When the stitching goes, one of the loops comes out and two of the springs lose their connection to the mat. As we've mentioned, it's not a good idea to bounce if you are missing some of the springs because it can get a little bit more dangerous. And if you continue bouncing, you'll usually find more pressure will cause one of the other loops to go as well. The first thing we want to do when changing a mat is first release the old mat. Now you can cut it off or you can simply remove it the way we're going to replace the mat. And the way that we're going to do that is first take the tension off the springs. So again, I've folded the flaps of the uh, skirt back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up. Now, just before I lift up, I usually take my hook tool or use my hands and take all of the little white hooks off. Because the white hooks essentially are keeping the springs connected to the, the uh, actual mat. So I'm going to remove one half of the mat and then as we've suggested along the way it is these little white tubes that are actually keeping the springs connected when the, mat, the rebounder is folded in half. When you fold the rebounder the tension goes. So I'm going to do it from this side and I'm going to fold the rebounder up and as I do you'll see that these springs here start becoming a little looser and I can actually remove them by hand. And they come off quite easily. The ones that are a little more tricky are the ones that are closest to the hinges. So once we've removed one half, we'll do the same on the other half and you'll usually be left with about three or four on each side next to the hinge. That's when we use the hook tool that is provided and you just remove those. Now once we have the, uh, uh, the whole mat off, the next thing to do is to remove all of the bullhorns from the old mat. And that's these little W-shaped bars. And then thread them in to the new mat. So once they're in place and the whole of the new mat has been threaded with the bullhorns, we're ready once again to attach the mat. The simplest way to do it is once again to start on one half and again work on the, away from the hinges. So this is the area that has the least tension. I would normally lay the rebounder flat, connect one half as many as I can by hand and then I would fold it. And as, I've, as you can see here, I would then be able to, to make sure that these ones that I can fit by hand can actually get connected. It's also very important when you do this that you make sure that you connect the right springs to the right bullhorn because the last thing you want is to work your way all the way around and suddenly find out that you've got a double at one end. So once we've got all of these springs connected, we may find that there are a couple that we haven't been able to fit by hand. That's where we will bring in the hook tool and we simply then connect the final springs to their little parts, to their bullhorns. And then we replace the little white tubes that we had taken off and make sure that way that if you do want to fold it, that they will be kept in place. If you don't have the little white tubes, it's not a train smash. And if you've run out of some, then I would suggest making sure that you have the ones away from the hinges. So my hinge is there, I would make sure these ones here have the tubes on. Those are the most likely to slip off by hand if you fold it. So uh, once you've done that, your new mat is on. Turn it over and you're ready to bounce. Rebound, rebound. rebound.